Welcome to the City of San Mateo's Citizen Self-Service Portal. In this video, we will walk through the process of applying for our virtual over-the-counter building plan review. First, make sure that you are signed into your account. You can confirm that you're signed in by checking the top right of the screen. Once you have signed in, you can start an application. You can do this in one of two ways. If you click on the Apply button at the top of the screen, you'll see a list of application types. Here, you can select Virtual Over-the-Counter Building Review from the list. Alternatively, if you're on the home page, you can select the box on the top right labeled Virtual Over-the-Counter Building Plan Review. On the next screen, you can enter the location of your project. Click the blue card. This will take you to a screen that allows you to enter the address of your project. As you type, the search bar will begin to suggest possible addresses. Don't worry if it takes a bit of time to load. Once it shows up, select your address and the parcel information will auto-populate at the bottom of the screen. Click the Add button. Once you have confirmed that the address information is correct, click Next. On this page, we ask you for a description of your project, along with evaluation. Before you begin, you should consult the link in the instructions to ensure that your project is eligible for over-the-counter review. If eligible, go ahead and provide your description and valuation and move on to the next page. If you would like to add contact information for the primary architect, the primary contractor, or the primary property owner, you may do so here. Since you are the one completing the application in CSS, you will automatically be identified as the primary applicant for the project. Once you have added all of the relevant contact information, you can navigate to the next page. On this page, you'll be asked to select a number of different project types that apply to your project. In addition, you're asked to provide a proposed use and existing use for structures in your project, if applicable. Once you've completed this page, click Next. On the Attachments page, you'll find links to a number of different resources to help you complete your application. This includes a fillable permit application that you can download, complete, and attach below. In addition, there is a guide to help you format the naming of your documents to ensure they are filed correctly in our system. To attach your completed application, you can simply drag and drop the file or upload a file directly from your computer. Once you've done that, following the guidelines linked here, you're all set and can move on to the next page. You are now able to include a signature with your application. In order to move on and review your final application, you need to type your name in the first box and complete your signature in the second. Once you have completed the signature, move to the next page to review your entire application. Make sure the information you have provided is correct, and if so, go ahead and submit at the bottom of the page. 